What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power of Play with CJ. I want to focus in on the Chicago Blackhawks re-signing Marcus Kruger to a one-year deal, rumored to be anywhere between 1.5 and 2 million dollars. Um, they had 2.5 million dollars in cap space, 2.43 actually, and they wanted wanted to re-sign Kruger and add a defenseman. So, you know, kind of a tough situation there, but you know, it is what it is. Um. You know, Kruger was an integral piece on that bottom six last year in the playoffs. Uh, you know, really was out in a lot of big situations. You know, he's really been a, a really underrated role player on this Blackhawks team in the last, you know, five, six years. So, you know, signing him to this deal I thought was fair. And, um, you know, I think it allows him to cash in next year with a bigger contract. I think that's a win-win situation. When he's won two Stanley Cups, he's been, you know, a really good you know, kind of role player, and, uh, you know, he can't fall off one to get himself paid. Uh, you, this is directly related to the Chris Versteeg trade, you know, the Versteeg salary dump, if you will. Um, you know, open up the cap space for, for uh, Kruger to get re-signed, and then, that, you know, from there, uh, the Hawks will have, you know, maybe room to add a defense on a minimum contract. We'll see what happens on that front. Uh, you know, I'm sure they can kick the tires on a few guys, but, you know, this is a Hawks thing, you know, just keep turning over quality players and um, you know I think with the departures and you know Kane's looming situation crew will see an uptick in minutes and be in more situations to lose offensively so I think from his perspective yeah you know maybe gotta take a haircut as they say pay wise but you know if he is given opportunities to play in the top six consistently you know maybe some power play time here and there um, you know, you can really cash him as a free agent next year because he'll have a, he should have a career high in points this year and really just, uh, you know, outpace his previous offensive productivity. So, again, I like the move from both sides. Hawks get the deal done, and uh, crew allows us to be in a position where he can, you know, cash in next year as, on the market. Anyway, that's all this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes for the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.